Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 271, halfway through November. Kind of cool. This meeting is recorded for those of you uh, that are not with us right here, right now, uh, and everyone else. Uh, recording, uh, we're, we're, we record it for you. That's it. Just you, whoever you are listening right now, record it. All right, what are we doing here? We're getting roll call people showing up in uh, chat. It's great to see all you guys here. Uh, the funny thing today was that I showed up after pretty much everybody else in chat, so uh, that's unusual. All right. Uh, anyway, great to have all of you guys in chat and all of you watching at home. Uh, what are we talking about today? We're going to talk about a, a V403 release that kind of came out of nowhere. We'll talk about it. Uh, then we'll do issue triage, and then we'll cover anything else that people want to talk about, questions and comments. So uh, today will be that kind of a meeting. It's very hot. All right. So 403. If you were watching the notifications and things like that, you might have seen 403 come out of it. Uh, we hit a a very bad bug in inline directory syntax. Um, and yeah, it just didn't work in a very particular case. And it was a very subtle case, um, but have a test case for that and fix it. So that's really what's in 403. And of course, since we have 403, we tend to go through the uh, list of bugs that were like, you know, these are small and could go in and generally make life better. Namely, we had a couple of exceptions, which when they come out of Wix, come out with bad error messages. So yay, we went and fixed those and another blocking bug. So uh, very, very small bug fixes, except for the inline directory syntax fix. Um, that was a, a big deal because really strange things happened because of that bug. Um, so there we go. And uh, just like 403, there's no plan for a 404, much to Bob's chagrin. I know he really wants a 404. I can just see the headlight being written for 404. There is no 404 really. I don't know. Maybe we skip it, go straight to 405. Um, is it like it's an unlucky number? No, it's just like it's not found. Okay, yes, we could have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I got Wix Pi, so I got Wix 314. So you did get Wix 314. We did jump yeah. all the way to 314 for you. So yep. um, anyway. Uh, in charge of the release. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, the release said it was. All right, so that's 403. It's basically the bug fixes blocking people that were bad. So uh, we'll now talk about triage, which will put stuff into the uh, Wix 5 hopper. Bob, you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Um, a few things. Um, this guy's come back around with this whole um, everybody should do this cargo cult thing of supply chain stuff because they think it's really going to make a difference, which is fine. Um, and I appreciate that he cares very deeply about this. And I just see it as mostly more work for people that aren't paid to do the work to do. Anyway, give this to me and I'll, I'll hold on to it and figure out when to bring this about. Um, go figure out this certificates and all that kind of stuff for it. So it's fine. He's being very logical. I appreciate what he's saying. Um, it ends up being, I don't know, documentation or web, something like that. Yeah. Um, anyway, I get it. I understand why people want this. I, it just certain classes of people that are in the space care about it and nobody else has demonstrated that they care about it. So, all right. Uh, native DLL is excluded during creation of custom action DLL. Um, uh, manage custom action that needs native DLLs. Yeah, you probably have to do stuff in your project file to do that, to make that happen. Okay. I mean, this is a general problem with .NET. Yeah, this is this is a challenge. Yeah, this is a challenge whenever you're trying to get stuff included. So yeah, someone could go dig into the the all the things necessary to get the project templates. Yeah, it's a pain in .NET. I agree. Um, compiler extensions included twice in the Wix build command. This is the ones we took in 403. Um, this particular one had a, uh, a workaround, but if you had any additional commands, you were just busted. So this was pretty bad. Um, so anyway, we took this fix in 403 and it's already in five and I did the work. It was a relatively small change, but, uh, good on them for finding it bad on us for not having found it, but you know, there you go. All right. So this is already fixed. Yay. Um, this was the thing I was talking about before the inline directory sim symbols and subsequent sections get lost. This is very, very tricky, very, very subtle bug. Um, both Bob and I worked on this one together for most of a day, trying to just figure out what is going on. But once we got down to it, it was, a uh, yeah, it was subtle. And then once I got a repro, I was happy with it, but yeah, it was bad. Um, so we took this fix and that now makes uh, inline directory syntax continue to work. 
one of the newer features of, well, one of the new features in Wix 4, which means as it gets stressed in larger and larger projects that we rolled into, sometimes we find bugs. All right, continuing on that. Oh, I've not been saying the numbers. I'm sorry, Bob. 7846. I'm just like rolling along. Uh, shortcuts using anonymous subdirectories generates I64. Yeah, so if you generate directories, inline directory syntax, inline directories into the user profile, then you will still need to create the directories. You'll still have to create components to create those directories. We are not creating components along the anonymous subdirectory chain because that's just crazy. So uh, someone could go dig into other ways to do this, but yeah, no, you still have to create the, to make the ISIS happy, you still have to do the directory, create directory, move file, whatever that is, dance to get the I64 to be happy. It's annoying. I don't know if I64, I, I don't know if I64 matters in reality. Like that's yeah. the thing that really gets me. It's like, does, does this really matter? And is the problem, yeah. Do subdirectors get left or do empty directors get left behind? They might. Do people care? At this point, I don't know. Like, it's just the cleaning these up across user profiles is just a pain. But anyway, yep. Inline directory syntax will not do the create components for you all on the path. That is known. So yeah, that's just a, a known thing. Um, 7852. Um, prerequisite hyperlink does not work. Let's see, create bootstrap or application, add a prereq, observe a prereq installer, except click on the license to see it, nothing opens. Oh, the, does this say that the prereq li link doesn't work? That when they click the license, it doesn't work? Yeah, I don't know. There's not enough information here. No, and it, then the user reported that they found a workaround and- They didn't say what the workaround was. They didn't All right. Know. I think we put it here to say, hey, if you want to provide more information, like, and if there's actually a fix, we could certainly talk about that. But otherwise, uh, have a nice life. Thanks for the story. Uh, that, that's that's nice. All right, seven, eight, five, six. Oh yes, VB Script is going away. That's what Microsoft has decided. They have listed their set of things that they're going to remove, and Wix should now warn about. This is. Probably a good idea, and warning is probably the right thing to do. I've yeah. been waiting for this decision to be um, rolled back because I, I'm I'm just waiting for all these things to just catastrophically fail across the system, and they realize, wait, people were using VB Script a lot more than we thought they were. Um, yeah, we said the same thing about the uh, the SHA two stuff, didn't we? Nah, that was different. That's a little different. I don't entirely disagree. But I I I am I'm okay with this. I think this would be a fine thing to have in five. Makes sense to have in five. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it. All right, cool. Yeah, that's should have warned anyway. I'm Yeah. Yeah. I I, I, I just I, whenever this becomes reality, I'm expecting it's just going to turn into huge amounts of pain. Um, oh yeah, for them, I, and they're going to roll it back. I I would not be surprised. And and you know you look at the digging a couple links deep, and it's like oh well you know it'll be removed, but still available as a feature on de demand. And all right, yeah, so like, so the warning message here. is going to have to have lots of caveats to it, is what you're saying of the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or here, Microsoft yeah. says it's going away. Go read all about it, and uh, you should. If any of those things apply to you, then you should not. Uh, you should not use VB Script. Here's a link that will probably break in six months, but it describes the problem. Oh gosh, Microsoft are bad link uses. Seven, eight, five, six. Yeah, I'm glad you're taking that one because I think the wording on that one is going to be the most challenging to get right. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, that was actually pretty painless. You missed the top one. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, I came back and you'd already made the other one go away. All right. Got it. Oh. Um, all right. Seven, eight, three, seven, eight, two, three. Yeah, I don't believe in this one. I don't think we should do this. 
Okay. <laughs> but I'm not Bob, this is your that. issue. Yeah. So I, I just ran into a scenario where now, so my scenario is awkward. I will admit, um, it, it's basically the, the schema was bad. The FSD is bad. So visual studio was telling me that something was required and it's not, um, and I'm like, that can't possibly be required. And you know, eventually I figured out it was just a bug on the schema. Um, but at the same time, we should fix that. <laughs> I, yes, already fixed. Oh, already okay. Fixed. Um, at the same time, I recently was dealing with a rather substantial package. Um, sorry, I distracted myself, but I wanted to make a bad joke there. Uh, <laughs> takes six minutes to build. Um, and even with, you know, all of my, my tricks to, to make builds go faster, like, you know, disabling compression and stuff like that. Um, it still took almost two minutes, which, you know, is for round tripping is a bad thing. So I anticipated that someone might not like the compile command. Um, but it leads to the same basic thing is that we need a, a quick round trip. We need, we need a quicker inner loop on large packages. Uh, uh, so yeah. So one of was mine. Another would be to, you know, do no media. Yeah, that that one's even more interesting. And yeah. I mean, honestly, Wixipoles get you most of I think what you want on the inner loop anyway. Um as far as syntax checking, yes. There is still some advantage to having an actual MSI. Wait, so you're saying compile would give you an MSI? No, no, no. no. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Compile. I was compile, like, definitely not. <laughs> no, it would not. The compile, compile is just a syntax check, and um, I agree that Wixlepools will get you most of the way there. The the primary reason I want to compile is to limit it to a single file. Oh. Uh, I'm working in a file. I've made a bunch of changes. I want a quick syntax check if you don't like the word if you don't like the command compile you know check syntax might be another one no i i i understand i i miss the single file compile. um i i i miss the single file yeah i i i don't really want <laughs> i had these in for a while because i thought we we're gonna need candle and light like Mm -hmm. um synonyms and then the more i went it's like nah this this is just overhead and you don't ever <laughs> you'll never use the output from these this is all right i Correct. think i th Correct. yeah I, well sorry for for the for the single file check i agree with that um the idea of an msi with no media is different and has different use cases but yeah so so when you get there you start getting that whole hey let's do a release kind of pivot and i'm i am all for exploring different release mechanisms as you've described in the past because wix is yeah. underdeveloped in that area and i definitely think there's something that could be there yeah definitely but that yeah. doesn't get you out of of media the the package i was building is 800 megs at high compression and but worse or more important to the to the media thing even if you disable the compression it has you know 10,000 plus files in it which without compression still, you know, I mean, okay, it's SSDs now, but if you were building off of a hard drive, you could hear the heads moving back and forth to, to gather 10,000 files. That's a lot of the, the burden of, of going through media, media generation. Yeah. I, I hear, I, I don't think that's something that we should expose here. Because you could never use the output. I mean, I don't know how. Could you use the output? Well, we'd have to like then do the whole thing of consuming the, the output to. Then we're right back to the OBJ world again. Well, okay, okay. To be clear, the compile command, syntax check command, does not generate output other than messages. And you're looking for a success, or you're looking for error messages that you go fix. Okay. The the 
the yeah, definitely. I do not want OBJs. I, you know, no, no inter, There's no intermediate output from the compile command. I think there are better ways to get just a syntax check than to have another command. Definitely not the word com compile because people. So we had that person who was like, hey, I had this old model all built around the yeah, OBJs yeah, yeah. and this stuff. Where is that? I was like, just call build. And they're like, yeah. well, I don't want to change my process. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> then stay with three. <laughs> so this brings all that back. It's like, no, you don't. It, the, the value of it was not, the value in it was mimicking the, WIC, the C++ build system, not actually in the build system. <laughs> it, yeah. Right. It wasn't a win. Generally, it wasn't a win. Yeah. And you can get all those wins if you want them by using libs instead, which is what we found big people were doing anyways. It's like, ah, okay, fine. But OBJs were just a mess. So I don't, that's why I, I react allergically to bringing um, 7823 uh, as it is with the compile statement. Like I said, yeah, it, it's a syntax check. The, the other, the other, the split aspect is the, is building going end to end linking because again linking is another source of of you know stupid errors you know typos and whatnot yes so yes i get that to get to link um and as you might recall wix basically stops building once it's encountered an error um, yeah so yeah these are these are potentially expensive inner loop aspects that I think we could. Fair enough. So I, 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 all right. So I think exploring the inner loop is something. I don't think surfacing as a compile command is the way to do it. Let me put it that That's way. fine. That's okay. fine. All right. Because it leads down this path of people imagining it being something that we don't actually want to expose. Like, I, like, oh, no, no. I, like, All those like, things that you have associated with the compile command. No, we didn't actually mean any of those. We actually no, meant this inner loop concept over here. And that's, those are different. So, like I said, the the I I, ch I chose compile intentionally, um, but it's not it's not the intent of the command. Right. I, I I yeah okay. I I don't think we should take this and we could talk about what a what the inner loop thing might look like if we want to dig into that. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't want it associated with this. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't want to bring Kabal back. I really don't. I don't want to bring Kabal back. My um, God, that's just your intent there. My intent. Intent. Your in, in, your intent about it. I yeah. now regret choosing the command. Yes, I think that that's probably what you hit. That's probably all it is. So, mostly because of the the train of conversation I've had because of the lack of it. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. You don't need it. The world's better. It's okay. I'll, I'll I'll open another one. Just wait until I hit the part where I remove the preprocessor from the world. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so <laughs> we're a ways away from that. No, no comment. We're still a ways away from that. As much as I hate the preprocessor and all the pain that it creates, and what people do with it, as we saw this last month or whatever. Oh my gosh! Just People abusing oh. it. The abuse that people use the preprocessor for is just atrocious. It's like, turns out C++ is a very bad language and it never should have been the model that I picked from the beginning. It's basically what it comes down to. But none of the programming languages today that show a better way existed back then or were really even drawn up in any way, shape, or form that I could have been like, oh, that's interesting. So, And I certainly wasn't confident enough as a junior dev to strike out on a different way of doing program models. Excuse me. Ooh. Knees there. All right. Um, so man, I wish I'd skip that one. <laughs> Joking. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, is that it? That you is it. Might, you might want to refresh. All right. I, all right. All right. I'll refresh. Did you have anything left? What? <laughs> uh, 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 look at Bob. Case the compiler command didn't set you off. Here's here's another one. This this doesn't set me off. Someone asked about this in the last dojo episode when we were going to talk about the replacement for heat. Now that's been deprecated, or that as it was deprecated in five, we're put on notice. 
uh, in four. Sorry, it, as it was put on notice in four. Uh, you ready to talk about this? You put it here. I guess you are. Let's do it. All right. So this is barely triage. This is this is the the hint I had that hey, we might talk about the one more feature in Windows Five. Um, this is it. Uh, Bob, this is your story. I'm not going to take your thunder. So it's November. We're we're coming up on on preview one in January, but and and there's still a bunch of stuff outstanding in Wix five. But I think there's room for one more feature, um, and that is to get rid of the eighty percent case of heat, which has traditionally been for the the directory harvesting. Um, Wix three added the star goods. Wix four added inline directories. And that those two things together set us up to be able to generate the generate uh, sorry to harvest directories of files and do do that in the language rather than the code gen model that you know everyone has been using for yeah nineteen years so. Um, I, I, I did some proofs of concept, and and of course I also previously for Wix Five did the uh, naked file feature. Um, all the things these things are backed up behind the standard library that that we've been talking about for a while. Um, this one actually, well, no, it is too. Um, anyway, um, you can read you know, some of the introductory stuff and the implementation details. Um, Rob, if you scroll, oh, there you are at the uh, the example, the language example. Um, in a very typical case, you'd have your component group, although many other parents are possible. Files element, and if you have a bunch of them, you have child include and exclude elements, something that heat does not have, um, which sets you up for at the bottom of the component group, not component, um, you exclude files that require special handling. Um, if you watched the penultimate Dojo episode, you saw something that I still regret not fighting against harder, which was the XSLT um, trick to munge the output. Um, but I said then, which not quite 19 years ago, but close, um, was that if we put it in, it would be, you know, considered the right way to do things. It's horrid. It's awful. And that's just talking XSLT. The syntax is bad. Um, and for the most part, people use XSLT to do two things, to remove files from harvesting or to add stuff like, in the example, service install, service control. Instead, exclude a particular file from being harvested and then author it as you normally would. No XSL required, or supported for that matter. Um, yeah, uh, Rob, can you scroll down to the considerations? Just, I wanna make sure that everyone you know, understands this is not a direct replacement for heat. It does not work like heat. It doesn't work in MS build. Um, it does not generate code. It does not generate, you know, a WXS file like heat does. Um, it does not support some of the other stuff that heat does like COM self-registration harvesting. There's no project harvesting because that's something that's actually really difficult to do inside um, inside the Wix build pipeline. Um, the normal groupings are available. And one of the other Wix 5 features I did was the default feature feature. Um, so you could put files inside under a directory element, for example. And they'll just be harvested and parented to the default feature. So far, the proofs of concept have been working well. I have one that harvests 10,000 files, um, and it takes six seconds on my machine. So 
consider that a win. Uh, Zach asks, there's no good way to audit the list of included files except inspecting the output, and that is correct. That's always been a downside of, of any kind of harvest. Is it is really easy to accidentally include things you did not intend to ship. Of course, the you know, converse is true. If you add a file because it's now you know a dependency, it should just automatically be included, right? No. That you, there's no winning there. Um, both are correct. Um, by adding exclusions, we make it easy to, you know, not accidentally ship PDBs um, or any other files that, you know, might get swept up in normal harvesting. That's it. That's the feature. Struggling a little bit with the multiple includes under files. Sorry, say again. I'm struggling a little bit with the multiple include elements under files. You struggle. I it just the uh, hmm. That's interesting. The multi. Oh, I see. What it allows you to do is reuse the excludes across multiple includes. Once you have inclusion and exclusion, whether it's one or n is kind of you know trivial. But as the you know sample shows, you can have multiple files elements in a single component group. So file subdirectory include include semicolon. So can you do include semicolon as well then? In include with multiple say semicolon like the excludes with semicolons? Yep, yep, yep. Is that better than multiple files elements? Because I mean this is this is a thing we we have a couple cases in Wix where we have lists, and then I think most times you're like, you know, we should have made these lists. We should have broken these out as separate elements. Um so I, I it's just well, the the thing I'm like thinking through of the having lists inside elements has not always worked out sure. for us. Uh, I, I mostly, well, I did it for, as the comment says, for simple, um, simple harvesting. Also, I, I dislike the, you know, uh, naked elements. And, you know, adding support for attributes was straightforward and then at the same time, adding support for lists was straightforward. Um, yeah, if if we have a philosophical issue about having two ways to do it, yeah, okay. I mean, I would I would lean toward the the child elements. Just means uh, there's always multiple elements. Then that's what I don't like. Yes. And this is like, you know, this, this is, this is code style. This is exactly like the, you know, questions you might have about, um, about how you write C sharp. You know, do you pull it out? Do you embrace link and, you know, end up with this eight line link statement or statement of a dozen link expressions? No, no, I yeah, I don't I don't think it needs to be more complicated than that, but it's the include and exclude. I think that's the right cause. It's just it's in it's here. I, I think this is the right these are the options. It's something among these. I don't know that we should have multiple options. I'm I'm right. like part of me like I think my gut just says like files include with the excludes being child elements because there could be many of them where there'd only be one include for the files, but I'm. Yeah, I, I, I don't like that model. I, I, I would want things to be as parallel as possible. Uh, Zach, there is no calm harvesting here. Um, calm harvest is terribly terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. Uh, it, to be clear, this is, 
you know, this is what I'm signing up to do. Um, com harvesting is, I don't, I don't believe that com harvesting belongs in the Wix language. I think it's straightforward to, to files, I think belongs in the language. And in fact, you have to go back again with the 19 years. Wix 2 actually had this way back in the day before it was discovered to be bad because we didn't have star GUIs. We didn't have yeah. directories. Yeah, we, we had it. Yep. I had to put all um, of this stuff. So, you know, it, also at this point, Heat is still available. Heat will work with Wix 5 because at the moment there are no plans to change the, the, the namespace. Right? So that mm -hmm. remains available until the point that the the, the namespace changes and the language changes and what heat generates is no longer correct. Well, there are ways to harvest and calm things, even if it's, you, you could do that. There are tools out there that do that. Heat is one of them. Yep. Yeah, and again, to be clear, this, this is the 80% case. Over no, and over we see... no, this is the 99% oh. case. <laughs> Like what? What are you saying? It's not that kind. Of, no, of course it is. It, it, it's probably oh, it's at least one nine, maybe two nines. Um, if project harvesting were more reliable, that might start to take it down. But in general, it's not. No, yeah, project harvesting can't live inside the tooling because it requires integration that must build, and that doesn't make any sense inside the tool, the build pipeline itself. So that just doesn't go there. Um, yeah, Jacob, I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. You can you can't use MS Build inside the Wix build pipeline. No, they're saying so you I think the comment is that you can use MS Build to generate the Wix the WXS files, which is true. You could use MS Build oh. and MS Build task to generate sure. WXS file from a directory and all that kind of good stuff. Absolutely possible. Yeah. And and to be clear, the the ability to exclude is specifically to address the, the, the heat does not, but every time I've suggested to someone that they set up a staging directory, um, I'm met with, Ugh, but that's like work. Um, the, it, that is the right way to do things in general because it lets you manage your build tree if it differs from the target tree. But Instead, people go to Stack Overflow and get XSL. Yeah, so, so. Uh, this is the thing that works inside Wix, the Wix pipeline, like the Wix build command, not the thing that works inside MS build. You could do lots of different things in MS build if you are using that, um, and this will solve the grand majority of the straightforward, simple needs um, in just getting started with Wix and using it for the simple stuff, right? Yeah, just give me all my files. And more complicated things, like if you have com registration, yeah, you have more work to do there. But you always um, had more work to do. But you always have more work to do. That's true. I, I like the Python mantra, which is easy things should be easy, impossible things should be possible, or something like that. So, so. yeah. Yeah, and, and you guys in the chat are all correct. All those things that you're listing are all different options, and they are all stuff that you hit when you start scaling your project, your product into much larger, 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 like thousands of files with micro packages hooked up into bundles and all that kind of stuff. And when you get to that, you definitely start seeing the value of what Bob was saying of like having a staging directory and be able to see that have everything built consistently and being laid out. All those things come in. And if you're starting with one project and one build, you're like, can I just have all these files sucked in? And you're like, yep, just like this without having to go to a lot of other places. This has been a long time coming, and this is definitely the right thing to do, especially with the naked file. The fact that we could do these naked, you can put it in package, and boom, all your files are in. With a very simple, this plus the default install directory, our you know, starter template, you know, get your stuff inside your package is going to shrink significantly. Especially Absolutely. with also default major upgrade and all that. It's going to be like upgrade code. GUID is going to be the scariest thing in the starter template, I think, in the end. Um, 
the goods are so cute, cuddly. Well, I, it's the one thing you have to be like, what is that? Everything yeah. else hopefully will be. What's the package name? Like seriously, <laughs> it's the name that shows in the package when you install it. That thing, you know, so on and so forth. Like kind of goes from there. The thing that will stick out will be the upgrade code, and a certain post is like, you need one of these. Don't change it. It's good, and then we'll go from there. So I, I want to noodle just on the syntax a little bit because for sure. me it's the it's the the mental model I have a lot of Wix things is there's an element that represents a thing, it has attributes on it that are that describe that thing that make it unique amongst the other things that may be the same type, um, and that may have child elements to help modify it a lot um or when they need to be more complicated than what attributes can provide right so like my sure. natural preclusion would be this without the ability to have multiple includes in a list not a, no lists this include and then because this naturally could be a list as is obvious here then these would be broken out as sub elements um exclude would be an element um because there'd be many of them but that's yeah, just my the, natural the, way of starting. Right. The The primary reason I like the child elements more is that they allow you to comment on each item. That's one reason I don't like the lists inside the attributes is, you, you know, there are lists, so you can't, um, you know, you can't have one comment for, uh, sure. for each item. And their attributes, so the comments just have to kind of stack up. Sure. No, I, I get that. A lot of times, also, I have to kind of like put it in a text header, feel, get a feel for it. And since this is the first time I've seen what I knew you were working on out there, like I'm going to do this. I'm like, okay, let's see how it looks. I have to sit and noodle and play with it a little bit myself to go. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, yeah, I see now why you made these include separate elements, and I kind of like it, or or not. We'll see. Yeah. But yeah. All right. So. So everyone listening now or later, feedback would be appreciated. So this isn't heat. I can't, what does that say? Heat V5. Yeah, no. It's up in, no, this is a language element. This is built in. Yeah, this is There's built into the, the, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. That, that's half the, half. Yeah. Three quarters of the problem with heat is that it is external. Yeah. Um, and even with, <laughs> I love, even with using NuGet, um, to to get heat, you still have you know typically five or six lines in your Wix proj um, to to wire it up, and you know and half of those five or six lines are all due to the fact that it generates code in a file, and you have to have some way of of referencing that file uh, or the content in that file. Yeah. Yeah. And, so, and, and heat will still be released in V5. They'll have the whole com harvesting thing. It, it will not change. It will not get better. But that's what heat is. Yeah. Heat's kind of stuck right now. It is. Uh, yeah. I think that's one of its big things. So, yeah. All right. It'll go. It's not going away in V5. We'll go in V6. I don't know. Maybe. Ooh, V6, we haven't talked about V6 at all, right? It, does, it turns into how much do we have to do to keep maintaining it? We're not doing anything special in V5 to make it go. It'll just stay the way it is, which is sufficient. Which, which is the, I mean, the other problem with heat is that, you know, it, it's built on old stuff, old unmaintained stuff. So, you know, to, to carry it forward in V5 is easy because we don't plan on changing the language enough for it to matter. Um, right. And, and to Christopher's paint here, he's like, I'd like to see investments in it be part of paid heat wave. And it is. So when we did some special projects for some companies, we built a much better harvesting technology than what heat did. And that's part of the harvesting uh, technology that's in heat wave build tools. So if you want like calm harvesting that always works and handles some crazy, crazy stuff like harvesting DLLs that depend on QT, which was really bonkers, um, the advanced harvesting inside uh, from Fire Giant handles all of those things. 
So that it, it exists. If you want the super duper hard cases, those can be handled over there. And heat is a bad architecture all the way around. So I'm definitely not going to spend time, my time, you know, kicking it around and all of that. So um, if you want calm harvesting and you don't want it done the way heat does it, the advanced harvesting from Fire Giant will do that. And it does many things. And it does some things that this doesn't even do based off of large scale projects, you know, um, things like that. And I have the, the second to last dojo episode was the one where I compared the advanced harvesting tools from Heatwave with the tools with heat. So you can see the difference between those two and it would go, uh, so you could compare and see the difference between them. And I didn't go all the way down. Is it updated to V4 SIG for Apex MSI? Is it up? Yeah, the Heatwave build, build tools. I mean, go look at that second to last Dojo episode. And I use the, I replace the use of heat with the Heatwave build tools. Um, and Heatwave build tools was the new name for the WEP, the Wix expansion pack. We renamed it Heatwave build tools because, well, we have Heatwave. Um, and it doesn't talk, cover everything the Heatwave build tools can do uh, because the Dojo wasn't that sophisticated at the time. It covered all the things that the Dojo covered at that time. And that is under active development too. So if you know customers show up and say, "Hey, we'd like to harvest and be able to do X, Y, and Z," you know, people at Fire Giant could be like, "Oh, that's a good feature. We should add that to it." So all of that exists. What you're hearing here is that neither Bob nor I have any appetite to go into the the heat system that was designed to do a number of things that did not come to fruition but people latched on to a couple things it did and then pushed it to the extremes where it was never designed to go. And as a result, you have a very complicated and convoluted way of solving something that everybody wants to work simpler. And so we're finally going, look, we're going to take the simple cases of this and bring them out and make them work in Wix 5 with the files thing. Finally, which is the 99, I argue, 99 percent case. Yeah, right. you, could, you could convince me. Right. Yeah. So, the, yeah. The, the, there are three basic harvesting things that that people use. And yeah, file directory harvesting is absolutely at the top. Then you have com. Then you have the project harvesting. Well, the in addition to heat just being a a bad structure for for harvesting in general, because of the way it, it's code generator, and code generators always get replaced by something better. Um, it's also kind of busted, you know, the the generating the directory harvesting authoring out of proc requires the, the code gen, um, but then it tries to do the project harvesting out of proc, which is absolutely the wrong place to do it, and is part of the reason that that project harvesting especially with you know newer um, MS build and newer um, .NET Core um, just doesn't work as well. You know, Heat tries to host MS build to do the harvesting. And no, no, that's the wrong way to do it. Heatway build tools does it the right way in inside MS build. Um, anyway, but that's not a language feature. Right? Yeah. So the the file harvesting fits very well, I think, as a language feature. The other two do not, and we'll need a different solution. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, figures, Bob, you would bring the issue that we ended up spending the whole time talking about. Yeah, well. I thought we were getting out in 20 minutes, 10 minutes even. If I kept no, talking that was, fast. That was not correct. <laughs> it was not correct. All right. This is already signed to you, right? No, it's not. I'm not taking what? this. <laughs> oh, what? I just came up with the idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that trick you before. Um, oh, this is interesting. I know this has bounced around at least once. Component attributes cannot be specified. Correct. Okay. No file attributes. There's no... Oh, no file attributes either. Yeah. You okay. have no control oh, oh, oh. over the, the generated authoring. I clicked on the one window. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. I see. You exclude them and then you put them however you need. Okay, fine. Got it. Right, 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 right. Files to be excluded, that solves the problem. Got it. Right. Yeah, that's doing some heavy lifting there. Yep. All right. Whew. Okay. 
Ron asked the question up and above and has now been lost under this huge discussion of the thing that Bob brought up. Um, what's the status of pull request 460? I think that's the pull request you have open. Um, Ron, I was just typing a comment before the meeting and then I realized I was going to be late to the meeting if I didn't hurry up and get into the meeting. Um, I could bring it up here. Okay. All right. There we go. Um, so everything's, this looks good. It's passed. Uh, my question to you, and since you're here, I'll just ask you in real time. Um, I did not communicate very well in some of my comments. Um, some style things, they're just style things. So the question, Ron, is would you rather me put the style things in that I didn't commit, didn't communicate well before and have you do them? Or would you rather me take the PR and then send a commit afterwards that just fix up the style things uh, to, uh, because rather than have you continue to iterate on it? I, I, I'm fine either way. You've done the hard stuff. The rest of it's just little style nits that I did not communicate well, the first time I feel bad about not communicating it well, and I don't want to make you do more work since you've definitely done all of the hard stuff and everything else is now mostly just personal preferences about how things generally match up in Wix. So that was the comment I was writing in GitHub. Um, I'm comfortable do either way. I can attempt to uh, put the style in that. All right, bring on the nits. All right, cool. I will bring on the tiny little things. Overall, it looks fine. I will uh, go through and add little nits and then we will refine this all the way down. Some people get frustrated going, I don't care, just just this, these things don't matter. They only matter for someone to have to maintain the whole overall style. And some people are like, no, 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 I wanna get exactly perfect and then I'll go from that. So it sounds like you are more in the latter camp, which is 100% fine. And I will go through and type those um, into my browser uh, today. So I will get that back to you and and, to be very, very clear, they are nits. They're like, okay, now I see what you did. This needs to go like this, this needs to go here, minor things, and then you'll be like, all right, cool. And we will have this thing taken care of, which is really cool because you solved another, um, I lost the word, syntax manipulation in XML, uh, white space battle in XML. Uh, it's a whole class of white space stuff. It is, that is, that is I, I find just, particularly frustrating to deal with and you've made it all work. So to that, I, I appreciate very much, which is why I definitely feel bad about going back on the nits. But if you appreciate them, then we will do that. All right, so that's the status of that, Ron. I had got it, I did the build over the week. I looked at it a little bit and wanted to ask you that question. All right, so that's that one. Um, other things people wanna talk about, discuss stuff going on, um, things going around out there. Might be quiet. Um, I think we'll be back in two weeks, right? 28th. Hey, that's after Thanksgiving this year. It I feel is. like we normally would have two meetings and then it'd be Thanksgiving, but I guess Thanksgiving is earlier this year. Well, I thought it was yeah. the last Thursday of the month. Uh, oh, no. It's the second fourth. to last it's Thursday? Fourth. Fourth or it's the Thursday. fourth Thursday yeah. of the month. I see. All right. Well, I think that says the 28th is the next thing, unless there's other stuff people want to come up. I think we got all the conversation about files as they were going. Oh, Zach says there's a typo in the issue, by the way. No, First tag isn't. doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> <You can't prove laughs> it. Okay. All right. Uh, so uh, two weeks from now, 28th, we will um, pick up where we left off here with uh, discussing more issues and other things going on about that. I'd love getting feedback on the shortcuts discussion. I don't know if there's any more. I mean, now, now I'm on the wrong the window. There's nothing else. It's like, yeah, you have to handle, if you're gonna do that, you have to still handle, if you, you still have to solve I64. It doesn't solve that for you. So you have to put a component in that directory. Oh, if there's another one. I don't know what the shortcut issue is then. Um, so maybe something could take to the discussion. All right. I don't, I've lost the plot on that. <laughs> um, maybe something, or maybe it's on discussions and I've been ignoring discussions for the last few days for the sake of sanity. That might be what it is. Um, ah, all right. Yeah. I've been ignoring most of questions. I've gone 
two months ago. I'm definitely missed that. <laughs> That's definitely rolled off the edge of my discussion list. I, I just picked a couple of things where I felt bad about people hitting bugs and wicks and tried to solve those. So, um, all right, I, you'll have to bring that back around and then maybe I'll see it on discussions. Um, if you're looking for me to respond, you can bring it up with other people and they can talk about it too, of course. That's nice about discussions. Everybody can talk about the issues there. All right. All right. Um, it sounds like Painter's going to bring something back to the top of the discussions list. And I think we're done for this week. I Enough time. People could have popped something else up on top. All right. So 28th of November, this time slot again, 930 um, on the Pacific time. I think that's it. So uh, you guys take it easy. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Bye.